Hey guys, Pim Master here. All right, let me just do some quick uh, responding to some comments, and I really appreciate the comments, guys. So I want to make sure that um, I think you guys get, you know, what what you know the the um, oh, I'm trying to change this. Okay. I want you to get the uh, the response you're looking for, and if it's not, I really want to answer them. There's a couple things I will do of videos on, um, like um, okay, one one question: if you putting your hands down, is that more effective for a longer fighter or a shorter fighter? Somebody says it's more effective for longer reach, but if someone's closer to you, then it's 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 more effective for the shorter re reach. Anytime you have a longer reach and your opponent is farther away, you have the advantage. But anytime you have a longer reach and your opponent is shorter or in closer, then the shorter person with the shorter arms has the advantage. Okay, I hope you understand that. If you have any questions while I'm talking, feel free to uh, comment, okay? Because I really want to answer your guys' questions. And, and there's a couple things that I saw that you guys want me to do videos on that I actually will do videos on. So that's my question for, for Joseph S, okay? And Aline uh, Mokbel, uh, thanks, for your, thanks, for your, uh, uh, thanks for your compliments, and that really means a lot. Um, uh, what else we got? A uh, series of left hook, the right hook, strategy. Okay, so you want me to do a strategy about doing a fighter fighting their opposite. That's what I think. Um, I think I, I think Jones is going to win, but I, I think it's the steroids doing it. So I, I mean, I just don't think I don't think Jones is Jones. I think Jones is the steroid, right? Like if you if you say Jones would be where he is without the steroids, then you'd have to say Arnold Schwarzenegger would be the same bodybuilder he would be without the steroids. I mean that's what I mean. That's you. You can you can never say that because he's been doing steroids pretty much his whole career. So I mean, it's like saying Barry Bonds would be the 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 greatest home run hitter or Jose Canseco, but it's been proven they use steroids, so that's why they are where they are, right? So it's hard to do that. It's hard to where would he be? Would he be as good as he is? Would he have his athleticism, his power, his speed if it wasn't for the steroids? We don't know because he's been stero using steroids. So it's kind of, it sucks, you know? Yeah, it's sad, but, you know, all good things come to an end, right? So Chuck had a good run. You know? But, yeah, it's sad. It's sad that he lost. Um, so I will do one about fighting an orthodox, orthodox versus a southpaw. I'm going to do a video about that. Um, so... Thank you, H. He just his name is H on on uh, on YouTube. Um, Happy New Year! Love the video. Um, yeah, if you have any other ones, okay, we got one. How to how to train? We got one. Jack, how to train as a fifty year old? I'm sixty, um, and I train really hard. And I'll give you some tips, but um, the tip is just train hard. I mean, I, I eat really good. I train really hard. I, I don't really, to be honest, probably some of my powers or my bodybuilding stuff isn't as, as, as uh, equal to when I was younger, but just about everything else is. Yeah, it really is. I mean, uh, Condit against Casilla. I, I don't know that one. I, I, I'm going to have to go with Condit. Yeah. Yeah, strongmen use steroids. So do you think they'd be the greatest strongman in the world if they didn't do steroids? If they competed against someone that didn't do steroids and they always won, wouldn't you say, well, they're doing steroids, so it's not fair? So when John Jones fights someone like Gus, who doesn't do steroids, it would be like the, the, it'd be like the power, you know, the power guy, um, the strongman competing against someone not doing steroids. Would anybody think that's fair? Never. They would never think that's fair. But for some reason in MMA, they, they think it's a fair fight. It's not even close to fair. If people thought it wasn't that big of a deal, they wouldn't be doing it. 
They wouldn't be risking everything to do it. They know how how cheating it is, or else they wouldn't do it, right? So it's kind of weird. Uh, no. No, it's not, Ashley. Uh, 29 is ne definitely not too old. I don't know how your 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 body is, like how you've taken care of your body, um, but 29 is not too old to start. It really isn't. I would start off slow and maybe start in some uh, smokers or some low-level amateur things and then go to amateur and see how you go. Who By 35, you could be a world champion. You could be a UFC or a kickboxing champion uh, by 35 if you start right now. It's really not too old. How to get rid of uh, diet and, and a lot of cardio, Justin. Diet and cardio. Yeah, talk about breast. I mean, Bro Brock Lesnar, anything he does, you, it's because of his steroids. You can't say it's not. So anything he does, even if he tests clean, it's because of his steroids. If all of a sudden um, the strong man tested clean, he's already strong because of his steroids. So anyone that fights in the UFC that's been doing steroids, they're there. You have to assume they're there because of the steroids. And if you don't, then why would they do the steroids if they didn't want to? <laughs> Obviously, they wanted the steroids to get where they are. So now they are where they are because of the steroids or they wouldn't have done them, right? It's kind of a no-brainer. What's the best way to KO someone besides the throat chop? A, sh a quick left hook to the chin is one way, without a doubt. Quick left hook to the chin. That's, that's, the, most, that's the most surefire way. Quick left hook to the chin. That's pretty good. What? <laughs> well, that, that's not Mario Yamasaki. That is not Mario Yamasaki. Hey, thank you. Hey, man, thank, thank you. Yeah, steroids make a big difference. And if anyone thinks they don't, they wouldn't have been doing them. So it's, it's just not fair. It, it takes the, the playing field... Right out of the ball, right out of the ballpark. It's just, it's completely cheating. And anyone that, even when they're, even if they test clean, they're there because of this. You have to assume that the only reason they're there is because of the steroids. Or else, why would they have done them? Because they want to get there. <laughs> so they do steroids to get there. Now they're there because of the steroids. It's kind of a no brainer, but how you. <laughs> How do you stop the full nut? You have to stop it before it gets in, but then once it's in, you have to overpower it, or you just have to, uh, or you have to, um, or you have to underpower it with with your flexibility. But you have to overpower it. That's I mean that's all there is to it. Uh, do you consider marijuana? No, I don't. No, I don't. I think I think I think marijuana is like alcohol. Marijuana would be like alcohol. A PED is a performance-enhancing drug, and, and marijuana is, is – a... why are they flipping – my own family's flipping me off out there. Anyway, just like, – I ignore them right now. Anyway, um, uh, no, marijuana is like marijuana. – marijuana is like alcohol. It's to relax, and, you know, it can be abused, but it's not going to enhance your performance – in anything but acting stupid and eating a lot. Where? <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I've I've never done a steroid. I want to. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not like. I don't think there's anything wrong with steroids or testosterone unless you're competing in a combat sport where it gives you an unfair advantage so you have unfair weapons against people that don't use uh, PEDs, then I think you should be banned and never fight again. If you get caught with any steroid, I think you should be banned for life, without a doubt. Was it bombing on? No. I, would, I don't like front, like... I mean, it depends on the angle I was at. You could actually hurt someone with that. But 
99.9% of the time, if I was this close to someone, I would either hit him with this or I'd hit him with a C strike to the throat. I'm like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a palm to the, to the nose. It's just, it's just, I just wouldn't. Couldn't use it. <laughs> Eat cookies and go running. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking pot really enhances your cardio. Yeah. Not. Even though it's weird because the Diaz brothers have like the craziest cardio ever. And that swimming guy, Michael Phelps, he had the crazy cardio. But it doesn't really, it doesn't really help most people. Eye gouging really works. I guarantee you that. I know that for a fact. I've been on both sides of, of eye gouges. And I know how much they stop, it'll, they'll stop the attacker like that, just like boom. So it's a great, it's a great way to attack. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I would disagree on him on. I think it would be a, a point. Uh, I think maybe it would be a, we might not agree on every technique and then we would talk about it, but I don't think there's a Wing Chun. If anybody says anything about Wing Chun, go talk to Bruce Lee. Because you can modify anything. If you if you don't think Shotokan is good, go talk to Lyoto Moshida. If you don't think Taekwondo is good, go talk to the the Pettis brothers. So any, any style is is it's can be modified. So I don't think his there's a style. It's supposed to be a fat burner, but I measure my fitness and brew out. Yeah, it is. But and cycling, who cares? They're cycling. They're not hurting people. So I don't even think it should be illegal in any any sport unless they're actually hurting other people more because of their steroids than they would without their steroids. If you're able to hurt people at a disadvantage, right? It's like you might as well just bring a, a stick into the into the cage or a baseball bat because it's that much of a disadvantage. Or and if you don't think if the if the person that is taking it doesn't think it's a disadvantage. They wouldn't be taking it, right? I mean, that's just kind of a no-brainer. I'm not a fan of Krav Maga or an unfan. It's like the old, it's like the, the instructor. I, I, I don't think there is a real Krav Maga. I think Krav Maga, everybody takes it, teaches what they want to teach, and they call it Krav Maga. I don't think it's like systemized, like, you know, jiu-jitsu or Shotokan karate or something like that. John I poke Jones. <laughs> what is it going to uh, with the good way to strengthen the wrist is get a little a bar like or a stick, like a broomstick, and then put a hole in the middle, put a string, tie it to a rope, or not a string, but a rope tied to the a rope, tied to a weight, and then bring it up like this and then bring it down. That's the best way. It really is. What's a good way to strengthen? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but that'll never happen, Gelato. You'll never, it'll just never happen. Fights will be canceled all the time because they weren't making weight. They can't have same day weigh ins. There'd be too many cancellations. It would never work out logistically for the, the, uh, the promoter. It sounds great, but it'll never work. Cool. Hey, thanks, man. I was on the cover, okay? Oh, wait. I was on the cover, guys. That's me. I was on the cover. So don't be jealous. I was on the cover. <laughs> My favorite magazine when I was growing up and I got to be on the cover. That's what you call cool. Master Wong is not really Wing Chun. Yeah, he modifies. Just like I modify Kaja Kempo and I, I call it Hawaiian Kempo. Uh, that's why uh, Lyoto Mashida modified his Shotokan, but he still calls it, you know, Shotokan. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think steroids are great if you want to get a better, better body, if you want to feel better, if you want to have better sex or whatever. That's great, testosterone, anabolic steroids. But if you're fighting another person, you're cheating. It's just cheating. There's no two ways about it. It's cheating, it's cheating, it's cheating. Yeah, it was cool. It, was, it, it, made, it, made, it meant a lot to me because uh, – 
because um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. You guys look at. Oh, can I don't think they can see them out there. Wait. Okay, look out there. They're hanging. They're taking down the Christmas lights, and they're bitter because I'm not helping them. Sorry, guys. They're not happy with me right now. Anyway, guys, um, so that's that's all I got. But I really appreciate you guys coming on, and I will do this again. And sign on to my um, sign on to my uh, subscribe to my uh, my YouTube channel, please, and hit the like every time you get the alarm. So every time you get notified, the notification alarm, you get notified every time I'm going to do this. Because I will answer all your questions, okay? I promise. How do I de defeat? You don't. Why would you want to defeat a chimpanzee? You want to befriend a chimpanzee, all right? I think they should do that. That's a great. I say they should just like boxing. I think I think MMA should have the same boxing. Uh, should have the same weight class in boxing. It might be bad for your heart, but. If you want to take it, that's on you, unless you're fighting against someone else in a sport fight and then you're cheating, cheating, cheating. You might you might as well carry a baseball bat in there. You're a cheater. That's all. You're a cheater. All right. Thanks for coming, guys.